Early inhabitants cleared countless trees to build their society. Slash and burn agriculture, it could be very destructive. They were clearing larger and larger expanses of land, cutting down the forest to feed more people. Over the centuries, the population grew by the thousands. Harvested trees became canoes and shelters, but many were felled for the sake of one singular obsession. Building Moai. Nearly all of the massive statues were carved from the soft stone of a single quarry. The islanders considered each to embody the spirit of their ancestors. Some statues are over 30 feet tall and weigh more than 80 tons. These monoliths were moved from the quarry up to six miles across uneven terrain without the benefit of large animals or the wheel. It is believed that trees could have been used as posts for rope systems, or as rollers, or levers, to make sleds, or even as tracts that were laid across the island. Virtually all of these methods would have required that the trunks were frequently replaced. Moai are made larger and larger as the centuries pass. It seems like through time, uh, there was strong competition for not only building great monuments to honor the ancestors, but also in among chiefs uh, for prestige and status. Hundreds of statues still litter the hillside, many abandoned in the process of moving or being carved frozen in time. One, known as El Gigante, the giant, would have stood over seven stories high. It suggests the islanders' ambition may have been greater than their resources. In the space of just a few centuries, the trees were used up. <laughs> 